I probably got into this with a love of cooking. My mom and I used to cook a lot in the kitchen. What you quickly realize is chemistry is not too different than cooking. And then eventually learned all about chemistry and other sciences uh, growing up and in school. My name is Rob Niven, CEO and founder of Carbon Cure Technologies. Carbon Cure is, you know, at the most simplest form, we're a clean technology company that's developed a process that allows concrete producers to use carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, but beneficially and profitably in their normal manufacturing process. CO2 is added into the concrete while it's mixing. The important part here is that calcium is released into solution. The two react together and then fall out as a solid. And that's how we get this high early strength. So concrete producers then achieve higher strength in their concrete, which is a higher performance concrete, which provides some cost savings too. And of course, over top of all of this is we're turning CO2, a waste product, into something useful that creates value. So the reaction we're forming inside a concrete is the same reaction that's occurring to make coral. It's a form of biomimicry, in fact, of what we're doing. So we're turning CO2 from the atmosphere and turning that into calcium carbonate. So it's the same reaction that coral used to grow, except that we're doing it, of course, artificially. By using CO2, we make the concrete stronger. By having higher strength, it allows them to make concrete cheaper. It also makes the concrete greener. Science is science and business is business. So if you make a good science case and a good business case, you can make a meaningful impact for people all around the world. And concrete being the most abundant man-made material on earth, if you can change that and you use concrete as a solution to climate change, then you really have an idea that can scale and help a lot of people. I am totally comfortable with risk. That's an absolute requirement to be an innovator. It's all just a calculation. I do a lot of rock climbing. I do a lot of whitewater paddling. It's the same thing. You do mental calculus in your mind. Is the risk worth the reward? You don't let emotion get into that. You just make a decision and you do it. So if you go over that waterfall, there's no going back. You, you really got to follow through and look forward, not behind you. There were some days where we thought there was no tomorrow. Is this worth it? Is this going to work? I can't, I can't see the way through, but we found our way through. That's pretty exciting when you know that you have such a great team here. We all work together, and we haven't found a problem yet that we haven't been able to figure out. I think winning the Manning Award was as extra special for, for me, and the recognition that comes along with the Manning Award on a Canadian level is fantastic.